Great, thanks. Matt, can you put that somewhere? Uh, what do you want for us today? I have a piece from a play called uh, Little Murders by Jules Pfeiffer. And uh, it's a play about uh, two, uh, it's a modern sort of alienation type play where two people find each other and fall in love. And uh, I am doing a part from the wedding ceremony where I'll be the minister who shows up late uh, on a motorcycle in his leather jacket and possibly performs the worst wedding ceremony of all time. Great. Sounds good. Right, Whenever you're ready. Sorry I'm late. Now, you all know why we're here. There's often so much sham about this business of marriage. Everyone accepts it, ritual. Which is why I was so heartened when Alfred asked me to perform this ceremony. He has certain beliefs, which I assume you all know. He's an atheist, which is perfectly all right, really, it is. Uh, I happen not to be. But in as much as this ceremony connotates an abandonment of ritual in the search for truth, I agreed to perform it. But first, let me say frankly to you, Alfred, and to you, Patricia, that of the 200 marriages I performed, all but seven have failed. So the odds are not good. I married a musician last year who wanted to get married in order to stop masturbating. Please don't be startled. I'm not putting it down. Now, that marriage did not work, but the man tried. Now he's single, still masturbating, but he's at peace with himself. I married a musician to a novelist last year who wanted to get married in order to... Sorry. I married a novelist to a painter last month with everyone at the wedding under the influence of hallucinogenic drugs. The drug quickened our mental responses, but slowed our physical responses. It took two days to perform the ceremony, but never had the word so much meaning. That marriage should last. Still, if it does not, you know, that will be all right. And in this light, and only in this light, should marriage be regarded as a small, single step. If it works, fine. If it fails, fine. For Alfred, today's answer is Patsy. For Patsy, today's answer is Alfred. I won't put them down for that. So now, Alfred, do you take Patricia to be your lawfully wedded wife? To love, whatever that means. To honor, but it's not dishonor in the sense of form of honor. Think about it. To keep her in sickness and health and prosperity and adversity, what nonsense, right? Forsaking all others, what a shocking invasion of privacy. Let's rephrase that to more sensibly say, if you choose to have affairs, you won't feel guilty about them for as long as you both shall live. Or as long as you're not bored with each other, right? Now, Alfred, I think it's time for you to kiss your bride. <laughs> nice work, very nice, very nice. Uh, do you have another one? I do have another one right. for you. Uh, this is from a Canadian play called Down Dangerous Passes Road. Great. And um, I'll be playing uh, part of Carl, who uh, is supposed to be married today, but because of a more car accident he went with his brothers, he can't, so this is him confronting his brother about ruining his marriage and some other things. Manners. The last time we saw each other was at Moss Cremation in River Kharkov. You showed up the minute they turned the propane on, and you left the second they turned it off. It must feel weird to come home to watch them burn your mother. Manners. We had to put the body in cold storage, just so we could fit the cremation day into your busy schedule. Poor Ma, on top of dying of her never-ending cancer, she failed to die conveniently between two of your appointments. Where were you when she was on her deathbed, huh? Where were you when it was time to bathe her, time to console her, time to say goodbye? Manners. Oh, I almost forgot. You sent flowers, didn't you? To the house, to the hospital, to the funeral home. Flowers everywhere. It smelled so sweet, Ambrose, it almost covered up the stench of death. You know, this morning I said to myself, come on. It's the most beautiful day of your life. Begin with a good deed. First, stop making jokes about queers in front of your queer brother. And be nice. Be nice to your big dumb brother, Victor. That big old softy, the way he acts when he's happy, it makes me sick, Ambrose. Did you see, did you see him when the three of us climbed into his truck today? He was beside himself, a real fucking kid. And me? I was supposed to be married three hours ago in Mars. So we're gone. 
is the most beautiful bride in the world. It's crying. Really nice work. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming in. Appreciate it.